Good evening, guys. It is one thing after another in the case of little Athena Brownfield. Neglect, abuse, pawned off, murdered at Christmas, if Alicia is telling us the truth. Right now, Ivan is either back in Oklahoma or on the way from Arizona. But it didn't take them too long to get his ass moving once they found Athena's remains. Now, they haven't 100% confirmed that they are Athena, but they did announce that they've already made funeral arrangements. Actually, one of our state senators is going to be speaking at the funeral. He is on the way to Oklahoma. He'll be in the same jail as his estranged wife that turned on him. I know a lot of you have some thoughts on that. I am... Um, I think she has a lot more to do with it than what she said. A lot more. There is a GoFundMe for the funeral. I have a lot to, to discuss with you about that. We will definitely touch on that tomorrow morning during our regular show at 9 a.m. In the meantime, look at this clip with me. As always, if you don't mind, please give it a like. Make sure you're reminded. And always leave me a comment. I want to know what you're thinking about this Horrible, horrible case. Late breaking out for Ivan Adams, the man accused of murdering four-year-old Athena Brownfield, is headed back to Oklahoma one week after his arrest. Thanks for joining us now at 4. I'm Zach Rael. I'm Evan Onstad. That's where we're starting this afternoon. Our top five stories at 4 o'clock. KOCO confirmed this afternoon Adams was released from the Maricopa County Jail. That is in Arizona, where he was arrested. KOCO's Elise Jones is live outside the Caddo County Jail, where he is expected to arrive today. So, Elise, tell us what you know so far. Well, Evan and Zach, we got here pretty early this afternoon and still no sight of Ivan Adams. I'm going to show you this gate here behind me. We believe this is where law enforcement will bring him when he gets here as they transfer him from Arizona back to Oklahoma. Ivan Adams, the man who allegedly murdered four-year-old Athena Brownfield Christmas night, is on his way back to Oklahoma, where he's charged with first-degree murder and child neglect. Jail officials in Arizona told KOCO Adams was released early this morning to another agency. Adams was arrested one week ago in Arizona after his wife, Alicia Adams, told police Ivan beat the little girl to death and buried her at an old property in Rush Springs. On Tuesday, state agents found child remains near Rush Springs. They still haven't confirmed the remains are Athena Brownfields. That'll be up to the medical examiner. Adam's wife, Alicia, sits in the jail he's expected at soon. She's charged with two counts of child neglect. Also Tuesday, a judge granted a gag order in the case, saying attorneys, agents, and law enforcement are, quote, prohibited from making extrajudicial public comments to any news media or reporters. Alicia Adams' attorneys argued for that order based on the national and international attention on this case. This order includes any talk about Alicia's charges or evidence in the case. It says the only things allowed are general statements about her presumed innocence and scheduling information for her court dates. Now, we know the district attorney said on Tuesday that Alicia Adams could be facing additional or upgraded charges. There is no gag order filed at this point for Ivan Adams. And guys, we also learned to this afternoon that Athena Brownfield's funeral services will be held next week in Enid. Senator Roger Thompson will be officiating those services. He told KOCO today he's just grateful for that opportunity. We'll keep bringing you the latest as we wait here for Ivan Adams' arrival. Reporting live in Caddo County, Elise Jones, KOCO 5 News.